Here's a stir fry that deviates from the classic stir fry and the whole family is going to love it, particularly the kids because this stir fry has lots of peanut butter in it. I love this dish and I'm going to be using some thin hockey and noodles. Now you need a big bowl of hot water, so boiling water, and these are only going to take three minutes to start to separate. So we'll just place them in the water. And while they're softening, let's get on to the peanut butter sauce. In a pot, I'll add one clove of garlic that I'm going to mince on a fine grater. I don't want big chunks of garlic. I just want it to be really soft. So this is the fastest way to do it. Finally grate that, perfect. We'll just give that a tap. Great. And now for the peanut butter, we need half a cup of peanut butter. I like to use crunchy peanut butter for the texture. But if you have smooth peanut butter in your pantry, by all means, you can use that. Great. Next, some sweetness. So honey, we'll add that to our pot. Along with a pinch of chilli. Now, I did say the kids love this, so if you want to leave the chilli out, of course leave it out. I'm a big kid and I love a bit of chilli. So some chilli powder in there. And now for some soy, two tablespoons roughly of soy in there. This is a recipe that I've created for my most recent book called The Weeknight Cookbook. And the whole point of this recipe is to use ingredients that you have in your pantry. So I always have a packet of Hokkien noodles in the fridge because they've got a great shelf life, peanut butter, soy sauce, all of these ingredients you have to make a really quick, fast meal just like this. Now this can go onto the stove top and we're just going to heat this up and mix all of those ingredients together. So just have a whisk on standby and just mix and incorporate that peanut butter into all the ingredients. And as it heats up, that peanut butter will start to really dissolve into all the other ingredients. So we'll just keep an eye on that. The last thing I need to add to this is some lemon juice. So the juice of half a lemon for some acidity. And we'll squeeze that directly into the pot and just squeeze that over your hand so you can catch all of those seeds because we don't want that in our yummy sauce. Okay, while that's cooking, let's get a wok onto the heat. It needs to be nice and hot. Now I've also prepared my meat. So pork for this, I've got 400 grams of pork fillet. You can change this up if you like. Chicken works really well with the peanut butter and also the beef works nicely. All right, now some oil. I'm using peanut oil and I want to heat this up so I'll just wait for that thermo spot to go bright red. In the meantime you can see that that peanut butter is dissolved into that soy sauce and all the other ingredients and it's quite thick. So now we'll add some water and just slowly incorporate it and whisk at the same time and the last amount. Now once that's completely mixed in and we've got a nice glossy sauce, just like that. We're going to turn the heat off and that's ready to go into the stir fry after the pork is cooked. Now I need to season the pork so a generous amount of salt can go onto the thin pieces of pork. The thinner you cut your pork the faster it's going to cook so get that as thin as possible with a sharp knife. Now I'll give that a quick mix with my hands to evenly distribute that salt and now we can start cooking this. When you're using a wok you want to do the meat in batches. If I put too much meat into the wok at once it's going to start to stew, we don't want that. We want the meat to be separated and caramelised on both sides. So I'll do this in batches and then we can continue on. Okay, we've got some good colour on the pork now. So I'm going to return the first batch of pork with all the juices. And there's a small amount of oil in there, but that's completely fine because I want that so it's going to make a really nice glossy finish on the sauce. Now we can add our noodles that I've drained from the hot water and the whole packet can go in. And then we'll give that a toss. Mmm, smells good. It's going to smell even better because now I'm going to add that peanut sauce. So just with a spatula and we'll drizzle that over the pork and noodles. 
Now, I'm only adding minimal amount of veggies to this, but if you've got some carrots in the fridge or some zucchini, all of that works really nicely in this dish. So by all means, adapt it to what you have in your fridge. Now for some garlic chives. I love the addition of this, but you could also just use some spring onions if you can't find garlic chives. And I'm just going to cut them into one centimetre battens. So a nice handful straight in to the noodles, but I'm also going to reserve a small amount for the topping. So we'll sprinkle those over the noodles and some bean sprouts, a generous handful now, and then we'll add some more as a garnish and some toasted peanuts for some extra crunch. All right, one last toss. Oh, how good does that look? Really happy with that. We'll turn that off. And now we can plate up. So I want a nice amount of the pork and the noodles and all of that yummy sauce. We'll just pile up onto a bright plate. There's peanuts there. I like to add some extra pork on the top to show it off. And then some extra lemon. Just a small chunk can go on the side. Those garlic chives sprinkled over the top. Some extra bean sprouts and some peanuts. There you go. That's a wonderful way to use ingredients that you'll have in your pantry, in your fridge. The kids are going to love this because of the peanut butter and the sweetness of the honey. It's a really nice, fun way of changing up your stir fry. I'm gonna have a taste of this. Mmm. Sweet, sour, salty, the perfect combination. Yummo.